Alright, you guys can all pour yours in. Go ahead. Oh, it looks like it's growing. Does anyone know how the bubbles are being made? Hydrogen! Good morning. My name is uh, Dr. Kelvin Mackey of STEM NOLA, and I'm honored to be here today to bring to you STEM Baton Rouge, The Power of Chemistry, sponsored by Shell. So we would like to say thank you to Shell for stepping up to the plate and being a good corporate partner and saying Baton Rouge need this. Chemistry is particularly important in the field that I am in the oil and gas field because nothing that we can do to deliver products to the community can happen without chemistry. We're gonna be relying on chemistry and more, more often relying on you, our future scientists, to help us to deliver those fuels that have lower emissions to our community. So I applaud all of you who are here today. Next up, I'm gonna bring up my friend and supporter of STEM Baton Rouge, Mayor President, Sharon Weston Broom. I want to welcome every one of the students participating in today's virtual STEM Baton Rouge experience. I hope something you learned today will encourage you to become part of the next generation of creators, innovators, and entrepreneurs. Baton Rouge and this nation needs you. Today, we're gonna have some activities, uh, chemistry activities, brought to you by uh, Henry Monroy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sublime uh, carbon dioxide. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Go. Let me get away from it. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, as you can see, there's gas being released. Each one of you are gonna make your electrochemical battery. It's time now to go innovate, create, and make. Do you guys have a bunch of activities? It's a really cool day. So we're gonna do cranberry science first. You're gonna get out your cranberry juice. You should have something that says citric acid. Then we also have baking soda. If citric acid, you add it, it will allow, make it overflow. But do you notice any changes in like color? This is where we used to test tubes. So I have my hydrogen dioxide. It says pour half of the bottle into the test tube. Finally, we're gonna mix it. See, it's freezing up the tube. It's doing it. Awesome. You got some toothpaste. That's an elephant toothpaste. So the first thing we're gonna do for the slime experiment is we're gonna add food coloring to the glue. And then after that, you have to take the popsicle stick and mix it through. All right, so as you add the saline solution, you should observe a couple changes in the way that it glue up. Let me see anybody's slime getting tickled. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to do a, chrom a chromatography. It's really cute. We're going to be making some butterflies. I love me a good butterfly. I like doing things like this. Ooh, OK, I love that. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna color our little butterfly plate. So you can do lines or dots, but don't draw on the tip. Just draw on this outside right here, okay? We're gonna dip our plates in water and we're gonna watch what happens. So what's happening right now is that the water molecules are actually binding with each other. And that's right now how chromatography is happening. Fill it up three fourths of the water each cup, okay? Make sure they're both equal. You take the bowl, and place it on the left side of the left cup. Then you take the copper wire and you place it on the right side of the right cup. And the bending mitts should turn on after hooking the alligator clips onto the bolt. And can I have a thumbs up whenever everyone's bending man is working? I had a great time and I want to do this again and my clock is working. You know, he's been virtual since the beginning of school, and they haven't really been able to do any hands-on experiments in science, and that's one of the major things that he's been looking forward to doing. So just to be able to participate in this was just a wonderful experience for him. It gave him something to do that he was just so excited about 